Hey everybody, uh, welcome to episode 10. I'm Samantha. Today we are going to make fruit cookie crisp bars. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. So the reason that I, oops, I forgot to prep some stuff. Ah, oh, can I reach? Okay, I can do it. Uh, okay, that's for that. That's for, oi, that. Glad I didn't spill that egg. Okay, so I'm back. Thank you. So the reason I decided to create this recipe was because I had a bunch of plums the other day and I didn't want them to go to waste, but I was really tired of eating plums. So I cooked them down with a little bit of brown sugar. I cut them up, took the seeds out and then cooked them down uh, in a saucepan, just kind of like you would do with applesauce. Um, you could even substitute some jelly for this recipe if you didn't have any fruit to um, use up. So um, apples, plums, gosh, probably peaches, apricots, whatever you want to choose for this recipe. So I'm calling it fruit cookie crisp bars. This is about probably a cup and a half or so of the plum yum <laughs> that I made. And there's actually kind of three parts to this recipe. So we're going to uh, put everything today in this uh, pie pan. I've split everything in half because I wanted to do a test run and have something to show you at the end of the show. So if you were doing this by yourself with the recipe I'm going to give you, you'd probably want to use a big pan like this to make your bars. Um, this is probably, gosh, 10 by 12 or so um, and pretty thick. So that would be a great uh, pan if you were going to make this recipe for your family and then you could share some with the neighbors. All right, so first of all, we're going to start with the cookie dough recipe and hopefully you can see it there. So I've already pre-measured, as I said, half of the ingredients from this list. So that was a little bit crazy, but I managed to do the math on it. So we're going to start mixing things up in the bowl and see how that comes into play. So um, first we're going to start with the um, half teaspoon baking soda. I put that already on a plate there. And then I've got um, one and a quarter cup flour. And I'm telling you the recipe for the full recipe. So it's a little confusing on my end, but don't be confused on your end. Okay, we've got brown sugar. That's a uh, half a cup of brown sugar. Quarter cup of granulated sugar. And I'm gonna kinda just give this a little bit of a mix here before I add my eggs and my butter. Okay, so I'm gonna add in an egg, which is half an egg here in reality. And actually, because I want all this egg, I'm going to just take a little bit of the flour and kind of put it in here so it'll catch up, catch some of that. And then I've got a cube of butter, which actually in your recipe here, it would be two cubes of butter. It's a lot of butter, but if you know the secret rule of baking, <laughs> butter makes everything better. So I'm going to mix this up here. Yeah. And in future episodes, I'm going to show you what, what the wonders we can do with this cookie cr dough because I make all sorts of cookies. And actually one year at the fair, I won third place for some cookies I made up called What Do You Call Em's? And um, it was a Nestle Toll House baking challenge. And I actually didn't even use the items they wanted, but they gave me third place anyway because they were so darn good. So, okay. So... We're going to scrape all of this cookie dough into the bottom of this. In this case, this is a pie pan. But again, if you were doing this recipe, you would want to use something much bigger. So I'm going to just kind of spread this around here. And it's not super easy, but it works and just kind of spread it around the bottom of the pan there. Try to even it up if you can. Yum. I want to lick my finger right now. <laughs> okay, so there we go. 
All right, maybe just a little. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same spoon. We're gonna pour on our fruit. And again, this is plum that I made, a um, little bit of brown sugar, some water. I just kind of cooked it down. You could use a uh, pre-store bought um, jam or jelly, or hopefully jam or jelly from a local um, person who's making it. Um, okay, so this part is done. So we're two steps out of the three done. So let me clear up here. I'm gonna rinse my little finger here so I don't hit that. Okay, and then I'm gonna trade, Ugh. sorry about that, um, <laughs> bowls here. And we're gonna go for, um, we've, so we've already got the cookie dough, I'll show you that one more time, just in case you uh, needed a minute to write that down. And today we're making fruit cookie crisp bars. So this is an old fashioned crisp topping, so you could actually use this if you were making apple crisp. Um, this is a super great recipe. I really like the oats in it. I've actually never used oats in crisp until this year, and I don't know why. That was how weird. So this is super easy. So two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I've got three quarter cup of the cinnamon, and we've got uh, one cup of brown sugar in there. The oats. And I'm going to show you the special trick here with the butter. So when we made that cookie crust recipe, I should have pointed out and I neglected, I apologize. The butter was warm. It was soft and it mixed in super easy, but this is actually cold butter. And I have this really great trick for cutting it. So if you can kind of see here, I, I try to hold it, to, try to hold it together. It's half an, hard in the half cube. But if you follow this recipe, you're gonna have a whole cube, so it's a little easier to hold. Cut it in slices like um, the butter pads you get at a restaurant. It's cold, <laughs> it's hard to slice through. Okay, and then you're gonna cut it the other way. So now we're gonna make little strips with it. So you got uh, a little butter strip. And keep doing that on all of it. Okay, and then come back and make it into little cubes. And this is a really easy way. I wish I would have thought of this way a long time ago. Uh, we'll make a pie crust in the future and I'll show you what I mean. Um, but this really helps break down your butter. So now it's in little chunks. It's much easier to deal with <laughs> if you can see that. So I'm gonna put that here, put that in there. Scrape all that delicious butter. Butter makes baking better in the bowl there. And then I'm gonna mash this all with a fork, stir it up. Oh, Ruby says hi. You can hear her in the background. I live on a farm and um, this time of year they offer uh, through fish and game some uh, goose hunting and this is a hunting day so it may be changing in the guards for the hunters so if we hear rifle shots here soon don't be alarmed okay so I've got it mixed in and you can see there's still chunks of butter that's totally fine don't worry about that and I'm gonna pour this on top of here oh my gosh so delicious okay so if you use the bigger pan size, like I showed you just a little bit, if you use this size here, it's probably gonna take you probably an hour to cook and maybe even an hour 15 on 350. But I did two, so I already have one cooked. I'm gonna put this in the oven. If I can scooch around here and not get burned. Ah. Set my kitchen timer for 45 minutes. And I've got, voila, there's the better, voila. So this is the one I did earlier. And it surprised me a little bit. I was thinking it was gonna layer up a little bit more, but oh, as luck would have it, the cookie dough came through to the top. And it looks amazing. 
So I'm going to cut it here. It's still, it's only been out of the oven for maybe 15 minutes. So the longer you let it kind of congeal, then the easier it'll be to cut. Oh, look at that richness. Oh, it's still steamy. Mm. Oh my God. Gosh, that's really good. Definitely need to let this cool out um, before ouch, you serve it. And I'm going to wait for a while. <laughs> that's really good. So let me show you these two recipes really quick again, just in case you need them. So this was uh, cookie dough that we used uh, on the bottom. Then we put some fresh fruit spread in the middle, about a cup and a half. And then we use this old fashioned crisp topping with the oats on top and it's really good. This would be an absolute really yummy thing to take to a potluck if you were going to potluck. That's my two cents. So thanks for watching. I'm Samantha Janes. I hope you have a great day, evening, whenever it is you're watching. If you enjoy the show, please like the station and tune back for more shows. Thanks.